When he grabbed his trunk to pull it down, some girls that was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Whale. And all of that frick of fracas, if you look back, history would tell you that she was let go from Hot 97 over that. There was a music mogul who sent his all-girl group to beat my in front of the radio station. Yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing. We need to document this, Playboy. Puff is there, and it's all about him. And I'll never get, he got mad at me. So, Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. So the internet is ablaze with a juicy connection between Jamie Foxx, Wendy Williams, and the one and only Diddy. It's no secret that Diddy has a history of bending the truth like a pretzel, and Wendy Williams recently called him out on it in a big way. The more successful I got, and he got, and we believed in each other, the more of a jerk he became. But that's not all, as it turns out. There's a link between Jamie Foxx's recent hospitalization and this explosive revelation. Can you believe it? It's like a real-life soap opera. And if you're thinking that Diddy might be in some hot water, well, you're not wrong. Wendy's comments have opened up a whole can of worms, and the fallout is spreading faster than a California wildfire. So, grab some popcorn and settle in, because this scandal is just getting started. It's been reported that there's a steamy photo making the rounds on the internet featuring not one, but two shirtless men. Could one of these strapping lads be the notorious Diddy? The internet is in a tizzy trying to figure it out. But wait, there's more. If you've been keeping up with Wendy's hot takes, you'll know that she recently spilled the tea on Diddy's alleged gay affairs. And apparently, they got her fired up and fired from a job. But hold on to your hats because Wendy's got some more tea to spill. She's speculating that Jamie Foxx's recent health struggles might be connected to him spilling the beans about Diddy's saucy sex parties. Now, I know what you're thinking, is this just another baseless rumor? Well, fear not my friends, Wendy always comes armed with evidence to back up her claims. And this time, she's got Jean Deal, formerly Diddy's bodyguard, spilling the juicy details. However, that's not always. Another musician who has been dishing the dirt on celebrities like Diddy and Alicia Keys is Jaguar Wright. Right, though, has been vocally condemning such behavior where others might remain silent. And Deal himself appears to be on her side, it would appear. He has a lot of experiences with Mary, Faith, the whole bad boy team, that whole era back then. All right, so drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Wendy's substance abuse is no secret, and it appears Diddy was behind it, especially after she insisted on exposing his gay activities. It seems Fox is suffering the same fate, and it's heartbreaking. Back in 2021, the celebrated host opened up about her struggles with alcohol. Well, for some time now and even today and beyond I have been living in a sober house, Williams emotionally revealed to her audience. And you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past. I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder and I just stopped. A source close to Williams revealed that the host was trying to get better, but no one was willing to talk about what drove her drugs. By my 24-hour sober coach, back to a home, lights out by 10 p.m., so I go to my room. Wendy has been brave enough to make herself the face of addiction. The source says, it's a disease and a very real and constant fight. It's been extremely difficult to put herself out there and be vulnerable as this is such a private struggle, but it's too important a topic to ignore. She is known for keeping it real and felt the need to keep it real for her fans. Wendy Williams knew that the Daily Mail story was breaking and she wanted to be honest with the viewers. She wanted it to be her story to tell. Let's start at the beginning. In 1998, Wendy Williams, a then radio personality for Hot 97, made some explosive claims about Diddy's sexuality. But when the Bad Boys founder caught wind of Wendy's rumors, he allegedly used his connections to have her unceremoniously fired from the station. And so began a feud between Wendy and Diddy that would last two decades. But what does all this have to do with Jamie Foxx's recent health struggles? You ask. Well, according to Wendy, it all ties back to some steamy secrets from Diddy's infamous sex parties. I was there when he got rid of Wendy Wynn. Diddy? Once upon a time, a notorious music mogul allegedly sent a girl group to teach our beloved Wendy a lesson. She claimed they came to beat her up in front of the radio station, and the rumor has it that the group in question was Total, who happened to be signed to the mogul's label, Bad Boy Records. You guessed it, right? The mastermind behind it all was none other than Diddy himself. I finished my shift, round up my headphones to see everyone lined up on the side of the window, looking down at the sidewalk, she recalled. When she got downstairs, she saw this girl group jump out of a gypsy cab to kick her ass. In her book, The Wendy Williams Experience, Wendy confessed that she had been holding on to resentment towards Diddy for nearly two decades, believing he had tried to ruin her career. She didn't shy away from admitting that he had put her through hell, but she maintained that she didn't hate him. In 2017, Diddy paid a visit to Wendy's show to publicly put their long-standing feud to rest, something that Wendy had hoped for but never thought would happen. Nice. 
I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you, she told Diddy as their interview started. That this is a faux circle moment. In an effort to bury the hatchet, Diddy appeared on Wendy's show and shared some personal tidbits, including his love for his then-girlfriend, Cassie. I'm head over heels, he revealed. The iconic talk show host, known for her sharp tongue and fearless commentary, has had her fair share of health and personal struggles over the years. She battled cocaine addiction for 10 years at the start of her career and has recently faced challenges with Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism, and other physical ailments. However, what many of her millions of fans might not be aware of is that Diddy played a part in the mess she's currently in, just like he's done with Jamie Foxx, who hasn't heard about Wendy Williams' legendary marriage woes. The talk show queen has had her fair share of challenges, from allegations of her ex-husband's infidelity to her own health struggles. After 21 years of marriage, Wendy finally filed for divorce from Kevin Hunter in 2019 when news broke that he had fathered a child with another woman. Their divorce was finalized the following year in January. Wendy may be a force to be reckoned with, but even she couldn't escape the flu. In 2018, she was forced to cancel three episodes of her show for the first time ever after experiencing some pretty nasty symptoms. She bounced back in no time and reassured fans that she was back in action. But that wasn't the end of it. Wendy's fans were left worried when she took three weeks off later that same year due to her struggles with Graves' disease and hyperthyroidism. Her doctor recommended the break to help her get her medication in sync, and Wendy came back stronger than ever. It even gets juicier to celebrate her Be Here national campaign with the Hunter Foundation. Wendy reflected upon her decade-long battle with cocaine addiction during a July 2018 interview. I was a functioning addict, she told Entertainment Tonight. They wouldn't fire me because I was making ratings. It's a miracle I was able to stop. The talk host reportedly started using it after being fired from her radio, all thanks to Diddy. When Wendy departed from the iconic New York radio station Hot 97 in 1998, it was surrounded by controversy. The provocative talk show host had made some enemies within the very music industry she was covering. In fact, she had become a part of the music herself, Tupac Shakur's Why You Turn On Me. Song even called out Wendy by name. And Wendy and Fox are not the only ones who have criticized Diddy for being uncool. Gene Deal, a former close associate of the mogul, has confirmed on multiple occasions that whatever Wendy and Fox said about Diddy is accurate. Deal alleges that he witnessed the bad boy CEO ordering R&B singer Music Soulchild to remove his turban at a Philadelphia nightclub, which was a shocking display of Diddy's behavior. There's more, though. Deal would later dismiss Jaguar Wright's claim that he was paid to remain silent, praising her for speaking out. He turned the topic back to the emergency at hand. Right. In the meantime, has been laying her ex-boss with some serious allegations about what she claims were underhanded maneuvers on his part. It's time to take a close look at these claims. As he put it, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Jean off. Ain't nobody ran Big Jean off. It's not happening. Never ran and never will. Never have. From nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody sent that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally, do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. If ain't Big Jim, you might be speaking about somebody else, you're not speaking about Big Jim. Deals attempts to defend himself from the accusations made by Wright and Wendy only served to reinforce their arguments. He claimed that it was his experiences working for Diddy that caused him to turn to religion. Additionally, Jaguar implicated Mary J. Blige, prompting the former bodyguard to bring her up. Prior to the Diddy incident, Jaguar alleged that Blige had concealed her attraction to women for many years and challenged her to a musical competition. Despite facing opposition, Jaguar persisted in her accusations, even challenging the queen of hip-hop soul to a dance-off on Instagram. The evidence against Diddy is mounting, as Jean's recent interview only adds to the allegations made by Wendy Williams and Jamie Foxx. Jean claims that he once took Diddy to an exotic bookstore during a working trip in early 2000 and that Diddy bought a bag of sex toys for his children, which reportedly contained several butt plugs. Furthermore, Jean alleges that after a concert in North Carolina, Diddy planned to bring these toys to Yah Rule's house, despite Jean's attempts to persuade him otherwise. These shocking charges have left many people expressing disbelief and shock on social media. Jean may have some fascinating stories, but he isn't the only one. Wendy is unhappy with the widespread homophobia in the hip-hop community and has made her feelings known. What she meant was, I'm not down with any of that, and I took her seriously. That guy is not my type. In case there was any doubt, the 1980s also had a sizable gay population, which is worse denial of something that shouldn't be denied, like hip-hop men wearing skirts or hip-hop men being closeted and having lots of babies to establish their manhood. Many events from earlier in my career have culminated in this moment. The question that many are asking amidst the recent rumors about Diddy's sexuality is whether he is attracted to men. Despite being romantically linked to women like the late Kim Porter, his sexuality has been the subject of persistent speculation. 
Christian Combs, who is now following in his father's footsteps in the entertainment industry, is one of several children born from these relationships. Although Diddy has repeatedly stated that he is not gay, his behavior over the years has led some to believe otherwise. One recent music video features a rapper whose lyrics read, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way? Like, I really want to be loved. Divided by, but then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. After hearing this, do you really believe Diddy is straight? What are the chances that Gene Deal, Jaguar Wright, Wendy Williams, and now Jamie Foxx are wrong about him? Think about it. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.